Hi everyone. Uh, I've wanted to share a testimony for quite a while now and it, just, it does feel like in days like this there's so much we could be saying to one another. Um, I just want you to know you're all in my thoughts and I really am praying so much for uh, each one of us um, in these really challenging times and um, as I thought about what I could share um, I thought there's just so much that's happened in life really and we could all share so much about what God's done um, and I just asked him to really help me condense my thinking and um, whittle down exactly what I wanted to say and then I was listening to Nigel speak earlier today about grace and I suddenly remembered a really significant uh, time God spoke to me about his grace and he really filled me and enabled me um, to cope um, by his grace so I thought I'd share about that time so um, a few years ago um, when Nigel's ministry had come to an end in the northeast uh, we found ourselves about to embark on a bit of a recovery road trip we called it we were planning to go to Italy and um, drive down there through France just take some time we dropped Josh off at university uh, that was hard a uh, big thing in your life seeing your youngest go off to university um, Obviously we were coping with the confusion and the loss and the hurt of everything coming to an end in the North East. Um, there was a lot going on and we were in Guildford the night before we were meant to catch the ferry the next day. Um, and I'd heard some challenging news, let's say, and it just felt like it was the last straw. I just said to God, I just can't cope with any more. And um, I turned to uh, Charles Spurgeon, as uh, is, was the thing that we did uh, quite a lot during that time. Um, I found this really lovely little book in a second-hand bookstall um, that includes his uh, morning and evening devotions. And it had, God had really used it to speak to us during our time in the North East. And, felt like there was such depth in his um, words and uh, his insight into scripture. So we'd really um, sort of found it a very strengthening book to use. Um, so I turned to Spurgeon on the 1st of October in the evening, just absolutely kind of done with all the challenges and I needed God to speak. Okay, so he will give grace and glory. Psalm 84 verse 11. Bounteous is Jehovah in his nature. He gives us his delight. His gifts are beyond measure, precious, and as are freely given as the light of the sun. He gives grace to his elect because he wills it, to his redeemed because of his covenant, to the called because of his promise, to believers because they seek it, to sinners because they need it. He gives grace abundantly, seasonably, constantly, readily, sovereignly, doubly enhancing the value of the boon by the manner of its bestowal. Grace in all its forms he freely renders to his people, comforting, preserving, sanctifying, directing, instructing, assisting grace. He generously pours into their souls without ceasing and he always will do so, whatever may occur. Sickness may befall, but the Lord will give grace. Poverty may happen to us, but grace will surely be afforded. Death must come, but grace will light a candle at the darkest hour. Reader, how blessed is it it is as years roll round and the leaves begin again to fall to enjoy such an unfading promise as this, the Lord will give grace. Um, I'd encourage you to <laughs> look out for that, but we've got the app, um, so we often turn to it morning and evening. Um, so I just wanted to um, share that as a testimony that um, God really impacted me that night um, 
urging and encouraged me that I was going to be able to go on and continue on because of his grace and it's just so varied and it um, enables us to cope with all sorts of things that we just never think we could um, and just had lots of different experiences in my life and I can say that he has sustained me and he really has um, enabled me to cope and um, I just wanted to share this with you I hope it's an encouragement to you and uh, we'll continue walking with you and um, praying with and for you thank you